What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to Beast Budget Builder Episode 5. It's the first time I've done one of these in quite a while and I think it's a very, very good one. Now, if you don't know what Beast Budget Builder is, basically I build a team that's, uh, sometimes they could be really common like this Liga BBVA team or they could be really uncommon like a Tipilagian or something like that. But uh, this time I decided to uh, limit myself to 50k uh, Xbox coins, so that was all I had to spend on this team, and I think the team ended up being about 46k because uh, I wanted as many players in the formation and stuff. There's a couple who aren't um, those, uh, the two centre backs are the ones that lose the team, uh, the 99 chem. But we're going to go through the team and then we'll go on to clips later, um, and maybe I'll put some prices uh, at the end as well. So in goal, we have Diego Alves. This guy was an absolute beast, he's one of the better Brazilian uh, goalkeepers, he's also pretty cheap and very, very good for Liga BBVA. Left back, we have Felipe. Uh, again, one of the only good cheap left backs. You could have Marcelo, but for me, he's way too attacking. I have him down here. But he has high attacking work rate, and I believe it's low defensive work rate. So he's never really there at the back, and uh, that's not really something you want in your fullbacks unless uh, you have a lot of defensive midfielders, which I kind of do, but shush. Uh, the first centre back is Perea. Now, this guy is a little bit of a gem. Uh, he's very, very cheap, and he's basically just pace and defensive quality. 82 pace for a defender that's just a 76 is absolutely deadly, and uh, he works very, very nicely at the back. Alongside Pepe, who also has 75 pace, 84 defending, and 83 heading, which is just tank like. The, the, this defence is very, very solid, surprisingly solid, and uh, it's one that I very much enjoyed using. So, on to Sergio Ramos. He's an absolutely beast right back, and uh, a lot of you guys know he's been moved to centre-back lately, but uh, that doesn't matter. He's a right back on his original card. He's got 82 pace, really good defending, 90 heading, which is solid, and just all-round fantastic stats. And he is relatively cheap, which is something that is just brilliant um, for a right back. There's Those stats, really, when you look at it, for an 85, are very nice, uh, nicely rounded. So in the first centre mid position, I have Kaka. I've moved him back from an attacking mid, but he is absolutely brilliant. Not too much pace on him, but you don't need a ridiculously fast set of centre mids. He's got four-star skills, 83 shot, brilliant long shots. You'll see a lot of them. Brilliant dribbling, and that's all that really matters. He's very, very good at taking the ball around players and using the uh, four-star skills to his advantage. So the second centre mid that we have is Xabi Alonso. This guy is a beast all round. I scored some screaming long, sh long shots, which you guys will see shortly. Uh, he's got brilliant passing of 86, and he's very nice and defensive, which works perfectly. The third centre mid is Lasana Diara. I've never actually used him, but a lot of people told me he has a brilliant long shot. Now, he's got 55 shooting, and I didn't score any long shots with him, but still, he does look pretty decent. Uh, he played really nicely for me. He was good at defending, which is something that I like. I like to have a lot of defensive midfielders and then one or two really attacking ones, and it worked perfectly for me. Left wing, we have Afalai. He's one of my favourite uh, wingers on the game. He's got 90 pace, and you can definitely feel it. Four-star skills, which he you can use so well with him with that 85 dribble in it. He seems to execute everything perfectly. And his shooting, it says 77, but his finesses are amazing. Like, so, so good. Right wing, we have Jose Antonio Reyes, ex-Arsenal player. Uh, never really performed too well until his last season at Arsenal, and I absolutely love him. He's uh, one of my favourite players, um, very, very fast, good four-star skills, as you can see in the uh, 87 dribbling. Good shot, good finesse, good at cutting in, and his weak foot's pretty decent as well. And then on to the big boy of this team, Nilmar. This guy is so overpowered, it's disgusting. 92 pace. Uh, 77 shot, feels like a lot better than that. He scores pretty much every finesse you give to him. Uh, Four-star skills, brilliant dribbling, like I just said, and absolutely perfect. Let's have a look at his goals-to-games ratio. He scored 89 goals in 95 games, but I don't know uh, how accurate, well, how bad the last players could have been. You never really know, but for me, he's one of the most overpowered players on this game. And this team just worked so nicely with the four four-star skillers. They seem to be getting on the ball a lot and affected the play massively. But now we're going to go on to some clips. So I've had this team in my set of teams for quite a while now, maybe a month or so, so that I can get, with the Beast Budget Builders, I like to get a real feel for the team. And when one of my teams, like fitness is low, I'll, uh, I'll switch over to this team and put the other players on the bench and stuff so I can, I can just play with this team. And I, I've really, really enjoyed playing with it. I haven't captured all of it and I've scored some absolute screamers, but uh, I was playing with it quite a bit uh, today just to catch up and get some more clips done. And wow, I, I, I forgot... 
just how good it was. I think I went on a, uh, a seven win streak and I don't think I conceded more than one goal a game and was scoring three or four, sometimes more, in every single game. They were absolutely tank. I really, really, really enjoyed uh, them and they work so perfectly. With all the pace that you've got up top, it just it really just works together and they, they knit perfectly as a team. Now, as I've said, as I always say, uh, I like to have a lot of defensive players. I like to have the four centre backs not to be too attacking. I mean, if you've got to have one, then I like to have two solid uh, defensive midfielders. Now, that's what we've got in this team with Xabi Alonso and Lasana Diara. They get back so much and they will help you out constantly with the defence. But then you've got so much pace in the attack and Kaka works perfectly. Xabi Alonso works perfectly. He'll do loads of passes, some brilliant long shots, thread all the players through and they're just so strong in the counter-attack and just the ordinary attack. They're the pace and everything. And you can win loads of headers as well. When the defence come up, Pepe's got a good header. Sergio Ramos has got a good header. You see a lot from them. Uh, Sergio Ramos even bombing forward here for like a sideways volley, which was pretty awesome. Now, this may sound ridiculous for such a simple Liga BBVA team, but I genuinely pause the commentary just to stare at the team on my TV and think of problems I had with it. And I really can't think of anything I found wrong with it. They're, they're so fast. Everyone's got good strength. The uh, the heading's good, as I've mentioned. All the, the positives I've mentioned. It's so cheap that, that I really honestly, guys, can't find anything wrong with it. So if you are stuck for a team to be, build and you just want to beat players and win games and improve your win record, this is definitely the team that you need to be getting. Like, I, I'm sat here thinking of problems, and I can't even think of one. Even Lasana Diara, the person who everyone was saying was the weak link, is banging in goals there with skills involved. Like, Reyes here with a uh, with a heel chop. There's so many heel chops that are... Uh, Hill chop goals that I scored and they're just really solid and now here comes the big goal the best goal I think of the of the episode Xabi Alonso running all the way from his own half and then bang hitting it from there what a goal posting in so that's almost it guys I'm going to show you on the screen now the uh, the cost of the players now this may not be 100% accurate this was all from when I bought the players about a month and a half ago so that it's also all in the position and formations that I had as well. So you may be able to get them cheaper. They may be a little bit more expensive, which means the total cost of the team is 41,550 coins, which is an absolute bargain. Thanks as always for watching, guys. It was a very, very long video this time. If you could leave a like, that'd be awesome. If we could get 300 likes on a Beast Budget Builder, that'd be brilliant. That would be incredible. So thanks as always for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.